Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Lincoln at Midnight. Tonight, I thought I'm just drinking myself a, uh, a martini, gin martini. I uh, delicious, cold, stirred. And this is a using Greenall's gin, rather rather nice. Not a not not a particularly strong uh, flavored gin, but uh, still still very nice. Uh, nevertheless, well, tonight I, I thought I would share with you uh, a Negroni, one of the easiest cocktails to make. Well, apart from a gin and tonic or a vodka tonic or a screwdriver. Or... Okay. It's got three ingredients. All ingredients are equal parts. Easy. If you wanted to do, to do so, do so. You, if you wanted to do so, you can make this in a, a large amount and serve it up. Actually, you can do that with most cocktails, quite frankly. I mean, generally, not martinis. Martinis are the delicate blend. Now, let's say something. We've only so What do you do? Equal parts. And you make it in the glass itself. So, I'm going to take my ice. And straight, straight in. Oh, 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 dear. <clears throat> Excuse me. Take my tongs from my ice bucket. And then put a few cheeky little ice cubes in my glass, like so. Mm -hmm. How about we? There we are. Just, uh, just like that. Now, start. It's a gin based cocktail. Well, I say based. It, all three ingredients are equal parts. Campari. I need to purchase some more Campari. Very, very bitter liqueur. Or a pedatif. Mm. I'm going to start with the uh, Campari. Just a, I've got a, a shot glass here. This is 25 millilitres. Uh, 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 straight in the glass. Now I will add my gin. It's, uh, depending on the type of gin you have will depend on how dry your uh, Negroni is. I used a, I used a gin, a Scottish gin, when I, I first used it. it. Oh my goodness, it was dry and bitter. It's quite a bitter liqueur. Oh, sorry, cocktail, quite a bitter cocktail. No, this is a, so you want to, uh, but delicious nevertheless. Mm. And my next ingredient is red vermouth. This is a rather nice brand. I don't know where it's from. Spain, possibly. It is delicious. Really, I don't know. Excuse me. Mmm. Mmm. Flavours. And equal, another measure. Just an equal measure. 25 millilitres. Straight in the cocktail glass. Oh, no, co co um, tumbler. Tumbler. Sorry, I was, I was looking at the cocktail glass here. I got confused. Barely. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. I hope you've all had good weeks. I hope that you are keeping well. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, so now I'll get back to my cocktail. So I'm going to take my tongs. That's because I can't find my bar spoon. Um, anyway. Oh, well. No, take my tongs and just give it a cheeky little... Stir. Sometimes you can make this in a, a mixing jug uh, and then decant it into your into your tumbler here. Yeah. Or to save washing up, you can drink it straight in the tumbler. So uh, ladies and gentlemen, cheers. Mmm. That is quite frankly delicious. Really is. Um Yes, and it's rather nice. It does go down very well. Cheeky little short drink. This is a be very nice. Possibly as a digestif after dinner, just to sit down after dinner and oh, just an every. Um, I was in a in a one of those dancing club establishments. Yes, and I wanted a cheeky cocktail. I didn't want. I didn't want to spill. A short drink that I could uh, drink and then get on and dance. 
Yes. One of those at night time. It was uh, a club at night. It was one of these dancing things, dancing at night spots. No, I, I ordered a Negroni, drank it, and then got back to boogieing. Ladies and gentlemen, have a good night. Cheers. Until next time.